Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here in Newcrest. Um, we're officially almost done with this neighborhood. I think I have six lots left in here. I was initially going to do a park. It was going to be my next build, which I mentioned in my last video, but um, I wasn't finding exactly what I wanted to do. I tried to mess around with it a little bit, but I wasn't happy with anything. I wanted it to be special. I want every build to be special. I try to like make it unique in its own way every time I do a build, but I couldn't figure out what to do. So I ended up doing this modern house. I'm not really comfortable doing modern houses only because I like to use a lot of detail in my builds and modern to me equals minimalistic. So I tried to keep it as simple as possible. You'll see in the interior, I kept it pretty, you know, neutral as far as colors go, which I think I always do. I think I always like stick with a color scheme or whatever, but um, as far as like the decorations and everything go, I tried to keep it pretty minimalistic in the outside as well. Um, but like I said, I'm really not comfortable with it. It's kind of out of my element. So like the last house that I did, it was Victorian style. I got to add as much detail as I wanted, which was a lot of fun. I really hate doing interiors. I've said that one other time in my build only because I feel like it's so repetitive. It's like, okay, got to do kitchen, got to do living room, bathrooms. And yeah, there's a lot of beautiful stuff for us to put in the houses and whatnot, but I don't know. I think I just enjoy doing exteriors more. I like creating the actual like shape of houses and stuff like that. I love creating cool, you know, pools or pond features, landscaping, everything on the outside to me is really appealing. So I do do the inside of the houses just for you guys to see. Um, I do have a couple of houses on the gallery that aren't furnished and the ones that I don't furnish are usually like the really big ones. Um, just because it would just be too much. By the time I get to the interior, I'm so over the whole house, if that makes any sense. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, you can see here I use, um, Perfect Pedestal from Get Famous to do like a lot of the, um, architectural stuff, I guess. And yeah, I mean, I did use a lot of detail that I guess you don't see as much in some modern builds, but I mean, it's my own. It's just what I do. I can't help myself. So I hope you guys like it. I really like how like the front, um, I wouldn't call them flower beds cause it's all cactuses, but I love how the front landscaping came out. I love this little bridge that I did in the front. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't found the right house to do it for yet. So, um, the color scheme I really loved and yeah, um, I hope you guys like it. And like I said, we're almost done with Newcrest. I can't wait to move on to a new neighborhood because I have a lot of other ideas that I haven't been able to put out because they don't really necessarily match with the whole theme of this neighborhood, which I think is more like traditional craftsman style. Um, I was unsure that this modern house was going to really fit in with the neighborhood, but the spot that I did was also pretty modern. So I guess it kind of fits in. And I hope you guys like it, like I said, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.